Did you grow up with the original Gran Turismo games where you started with no credits, zero credits, and you had to buy a really old car and do your absolute best to win races or get podiums so you could get a sprinkling of credits and save up those credits for an upgrade that you really want and you go a little bit faster and then you win a few more races and you save, save, save those credits and eventually you can afford a car that's a little bit better. Do you remember those days? If that sounds like music to your ears, you're going to love this video because that is what we're doing right here. We are doing old school Gran Turismo and I honestly, I can't wait. So stay tuned for this because this might bring it back. This might be the way to actually play. So we're going to do the Jimny Cup. And as you can see, I don't have zero credits right now, but I will have zero credits very quickly. And I'll explain why. We've got 21,500 credits. So we're going to start the Jimny Cup. And to do that, I need to obviously have a Suzuki Jimny. So this is like getting the starter car. So I'm going to go to Brand Central and I've got 21,000 credits. I, to be honest, I hope I can even afford it. Let's find out. So here we go. Here's the Suzuki Jimny. Now I'm going to choose my color carefully because this is basically all the money I have. I'm the poorest streamer on Gran Turismo. Never have any cash. And now it's going to go down to zero. You know what? I'm going to stick with the uh, fluorescent yellow. I quite like the one. So purchasing that. So there's our car. Oh my goodness. 18,000 credits. Every credit matters right now. So, yes, collectors, all very good. So we're going to change this car. We've got three and a half thousand credits. Now, that's important because I think the first race is going to be at Lake Louise. So I will need to pick up some dirt tires for that, I think. So we're going to go to the tuning shop. We won't be able to afford pretty much everything, but hopefully the dirt tires. OK, yes. Oh, we can afford the dirt tires. We've got 307. Is this the real finance simulator? Why is this so eerily accurate? Right, here we go. So we're going to go to World Circuits and do our first race. So in a completely spec Suzuki uh, Jimny. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go to Lake Louise. So it's Lake Louise here. And we've got our car and we need to do Jimny Cup. I wish it would just present this in an easier way. But there we go. Oh, it's snow tires. Oh, my goodness me. Oh my god. So I need to get 3,000 credits, so I can't even do that race. Okay, so we need to do one of the other ones. This is like old school, so we've got Willow Springs, Jimny Cup. We can do this one, and if we win it, if we get it, we're going to get a massive 40,000 credits, so we'll be able to do some upgrades. Okay, so this is like old school. This is how I remember it, making mistakes already. So we're going to enter. Oh, we got the... Ah, okay, hang on. Well, we got Comfort Mediums. We have to try and can't, we can't afford anything else. Okay, so we're going to enter this. It's a horse thief, my least favorite circuit in the world. But you know what? I want to do it because it's a Jimny Cup and I want to get the credits to upgrade this car. Maybe even apply a livery on it. Let's see. So here we go. Starting at the back, it's a full lap race. There ain't much power in this thing. I'll tell you that for free. So I'm already thinking, I think a bit more power in this. So all of those engine upgrades. I don't think we're anywhere near the limit of the brakes, by the way. So it's not a car where I'm like, oh, too much power. Let's upgrade the brakes. Not here. The comfort mediums will be limiting the amount that we can get onto the surface. You see, some of these cars are tricked out, it seems. Come on, Jimny! No, wrong gear! I need those credits! I need those credits! Look, even if we don't finish on the podium here, we'll get some credits. So let's try and get as high up as we can. So second gear is not really usable, so we want to be... Nice advertising for Fanatec there on the back. Okay, let's go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Up into fourth. I'm not even really sure you need that much of fourth gear here. He's taps on the brakes. I won't. Up the inside of Lopez, now Polura, possibly the hottest prospect in Gran Turismo esports right now, I have to say. Um, the man I saw at Amsterdam, and then he absolutely lit it up in Barcelona as well. So I do like that feature of having these people in. I am a little bit surprised why they don't put real drivers here. That might be a little bit more well known. I'm going to guess that these drivers don't get paid anything for their likeness, which might explain why. It's a good little tie up. Oh, no. Oh, God, I have to keep going. I have to keep going. I have to keep going. Oh, no, 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 not like this. My credits. My credits. No. Is 
So he's a little bit of popping on that car ahead, I think. Come on, come on, come on. We can still, we're, we're, as we were, definitely doable that we can get up there. Come on, we know how to drive this now. Keep it in third here, keep it in third. Don't go to second. Yeah, this, there we go. Open it up. I have to say, this is, um, I do, would like a round wheel here, like I've got right now. So if you're doing this in the GT style rim, it would be difficult because I'm sort of feeding the wheel through my fingers. So he's doing a tap on the brakes, yes he is. It's not a Sophie race, this one. Oh, it's a drag race, I'm on the outside. And the track sort of falls away here a little bit. A little bit of contact, okay, there we go, in the Jimny. Very nice, does look like a nice interior actually. So we won't go down to third, uh, to second, sorry, we'll keep it in third. Come on, how many credits are we going to get for this? I, I, we don't, I don't think we really have the pace. Stock here anyway, mistake or no mistake, but we'll find out. I mean, I'm sure you're watching this and you know what you would upgrade. So it's six, six tenths purple there, it's not a huge amount, although it's not the end of the lap. This is where we struggled last time. So do we want to go engine upgrades? Do we want to go tyres? Are we even going to get any meaningful credits for this? So we've only got 300 right now. So we're going on to the last lap. So how many positions can we get? So we'll try and get past Lopez again. A bit of deja vu. 2.6 seconds. Purple. So that's what we can potentially expect to get up the road here. Okay, so up the inside of Polura. See, just this little bit of meta to the game adds so much for me. It's might be my big bugbear with Gran Turismo. It's like incredible platform, and they just don't offer enough context to it, or enough storyline, or enough just reasons to race other than just going onto the track. Like, I feel like Gran Turismo would be very happy if everyone went out and time trialed. That's all you did. But we want to have a reason to race. We want a little bit more. Slight bit of contact there. Can we get Busnelli? Yes, maybe up the inside. Oh, no, 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 no. If you saw me in GT Creator Series, you'll know that was a very dramatic finish here. Okay, so P6. What's that going to mean for the credits? I am very excited to find out. So P6, it's not good enough to progress, we know. Ah, 13,000 credits. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the snow tires. So I think that'll be a bit of a leveler to go to Lake Louise. And I'm going to upgrade something else. And we'll come back to Big Willow, or Willow Springs, I should say, at the end. So we'll do that at the end of the championship. So let's go to the tuning shop. 13,000 credits. Gran Turismo 7 has never offered this experience, I would say. Let me know if I'm wrong, but that's what I believe. So snow tyres. So that's going to leave us still 10,000. So interesting here. What do we go for? They say the computers are quite good. So maybe we go for the computer that does unlock three. Well, as a percentage, it's not bad. And the crankshaft gets you one horsepower. Do we want to put a low RPM turbocharger on it? Let's put a low RPM turbocharger because I think that will help us get through the gears a little bit. But we might need that with the uh, anti-lag system, which we can't afford at the moment. I'm going to go low RPM turbo. So we've gone low RPM turbo. We've got the snow tires. Is that the combination that's going to help us at Lake Louise? Right, so going to the Americas, Lake Louise, Canada. Jimny Cup, big credits on offer. Okay. Got snow tires and we've got this low RPM turbo. Obviously the ultra high RPM turbo is the best one, isn't it? But let's crack on. Okay. So in the snow now, only three laps and it is the short circuit, isn't it? So up into fifth gear, bit of turbo lag. Need some sunglasses on here, frankly. Right, come on. I've said it before, I feel like Lake Louise is the best loose surface in Gran Turismo 7. I've never really 
married with the um, you know surfaces at like Sardegna um, Fisherman's Ranch and stuff like that but Lake Louise just seems you get a little bit more purchase and the tires dig in as you would expect you're not just skating on a uh, polished ice rink so we'll go up the inside here of Busnelli. This is looking a lot better already, although we're already approaching the pit entry. So we'll have to see if we can get this done. We want to be, remember, in the top three to progress. It's very blinding right now. Making the gear change. You can hear the turbo there. Is that the right decision? I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. I love this physics here. To be fair, that is really nice. Look how close we're able to get to the uh, ball of ice on the inside. Just squeeze that guy out of the way. Not very street smart of him. With three seconds off the lead, it's looking like a very tasty and I have to say very well balanced race. Is it time of day progression as well? Is it going to get dark? Are we going to get the purple lights? Remember, don't want to end up going around backwards. Okay, so we're going to be, I would say, definitely up to B4. Estevez ahead of us, who was one of the. Um, had a really good performance, didn't he, in uh, Barcelona, Estevez. Managed to hang on. I think win the uh, Manufacturers Cup, if I remember. So, less than two seconds to go to the leader. We struggle over here, look at this! Simmerman's right behind us, had to block him off. And we need to make sure that we get... Oh, we've been overtaken here, it's Paul Ura. Remember, we need the podium here. So we'll try and slide up the inside of Polura into this gap. Down into third, that was nicely done. But yeah, we need to get, we need to break into this top three. And right now, we're frankly just running out of corners and time. It might need to be ascend, but with Polura in the background as well, it might not be easy. So we're carrying a bit of speed down there because we didn't dab the brakes. Want to just get off the inside there, it hasn't happened for us! This could be bad news, we know we're not great on the straight, can we get up the inside here? Of Kevin DeVroe, who I've raced in real life, well not real life, in, in G7 many times actually. In the same splits. Okay, got the radar up. We know we're weak over here, but a P2 would be great for us. Here comes Estevez. Here he comes. It's going to be a photo finish. It is a photo finish. P2 for us. That means more credits. Yes, clapping to myself there because I'm just having so much fun. I'm just having fun playing a racing game in 2024. Look, we got a trophy as well. Where's his gameplay gone in video games? Specifically racing video games, a lot complicated. I feel like everyone is trying to maybe, um... People are trying to reinvent the wheel. We always have to do something different. It's like, no, we don't need to, just old school. What about some cutscenes? What about some old school cutscenes and dialogue? Right, we got 22,000 credits. I think what I'm going to do, because I'm feeling so good, I'm going to see whether we've, can, we've got any liveries for this. So, top tip, if you're watching this and you're part, therefore part of the KCR community, whenever you've got a car, go here and you search KCR, Kirith Community Racing, and see if the community has... God, oh, they've got two of them! Look at this. It's got to be, I think, the, uh, the Jurassic Park livery, I'm going to call it. How much is it to apply? Free replacement. Yes, there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, right, there we go. Livery applied. Let's go to the tuning shot. 22k in our pocket to spend. What are we going to spend it on? Oh, I think definitely weight reduction. I'm not even going to look at the other options. We're going weight reduction one and weight reduction two. That's just going to increase our power to weight ratio. Could think about doing some 
ironically, some ballast to sort of like balance the car a little bit. I think the clutch and firewall, if that's going to be quicker gear shifts, I think we should do that as well. So I think semi racing clutch and flywheel, we're going to do that as well. We haven't got like unlimited credits here to just go mad. We're having to be quite tactical. Maybe it is time for the computer now. And can we afford brakes and brake pads? Yeah, let's do that because then we can come absolutely steaming in. Remember, in my test, there was no difference between the these two brakes and the carbon brakes. Like there was no difference. That was my very in-depth testing I did a few years ago on this. So we've got 5,000 more credits. What can we spend for five grand and win the next race? We haven't won a race, have we? So maybe we're going to do add punch to the high RPM. Okay, well, that was sort of hedging our RPM position there. Okay, so 500 credits to go. So we've won one of them. Where is the other race? I can't remember. Is it in Japan? Is it at windmills? Oh, don't tell me it's at windmills. Oh, no, it's at windmills. Not my favorite circuit at all. This is going to be difficult. So we're going to get those dirt tires on. So dirt tires on. Here we go. 30,000 credits if we win it to then try and win that big willow race and maybe have some credit spare to choose our next car. And maybe I'll put it down to you in the comments so you can see what credits we have left. If we get there, no guarantees. Okay. We're starting in P12 at windmills. These are the dirt physics. Oh, look at this. Look at us now. Don't you just feel faster? So yeah, remember to check out these liveries. Remember to check out my videos as well, if you want to see more of these. Right, okay. Oh, God. This ain't the uh, layout that I'm really... F I'm not familiar with any of these, to be fair, but... We need to get a P3 here. We've got all these upgrades. It'd be a little bit embarrassing if we don't. Six seconds off the lead. We've got a little bit more punch now. Remember, we've got those better brakes. I say the brakes are probably the critical one. Nice move there, just lifting off. He's still there though, isn't he? Let's keep it in the old third person. We're going to go over this jump. Here we go. Ugh. Jimny suspension handling it like a champ. It's close battling this, I have to say. I have to say, if you're watching this and you haven't driven the Jimny, this is a lot of fun. I feel like there's not enough power to slide around because normally we're in these sort of group B, like weird things. I just have like a billion horsepower and you end up smashing from one side of the barriers to the other. Right, P9 right now. Sort of still sighter. Damn it, went down the gear. That wasn't it. It's not like the movie. Downshift to go faster. Okay. Keep it in fourth here. We're nicely in the rev range. Up to fifth, even. Oh my goodness, it's the last lap. That was nice. Up the inside here. Yes. We need that podium, remember? Can we even go for the win here? So this is winding road. Left turn here, flick it in. Over that jump. Keep it straight over the jump. We're going for the win here. Nice bit of punch there. So left, and then it's going to be a, a right-hander with some banking. Wow, up to fifth there. Not sure that's right. Yes, it could be our first victory! It could be our first victory here. Yes, 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 yes. See this home now. See it home. 1.1 up, everyone. Dare I say, the upgrades have worked. Dare I say, I believe, is this the finish? Nope, that's the finish. P1, everyone. P1 in our Suzuki Jimny. Look at that machine. So now all we need to do 
is go to Big Willow. But here's the thing, because we're going to carry on this series, how much do I want to spend in upgrades on the Jimny? And how much do I want to save for, you know, the next car that we're going to buy? We're going to go to the used car dealership probably and buy a new one. I think on that basis, we have enough to to win at Big Willow, Willow Springs, without any upgrades. So I'm going to go without upgrades. That was on dirt. So we're still going to be on the comfort mediums. And I'm interested to see if they're going to be the limiting factor now. Right. So final one in this uh, cafe menu book. I don't even know what the, we should get a bonus prize as well. So here we go. Dirt tires. Be awesome if if the prize was like getting a um like the Suzuki VGT or something. I mean that that just reminds me of the old days. Gran for me, Gran Turismo Four, Forza Motorsport Three. I mean, has racing games gone downhill or not? I don't know. Right here we go. This is the one. Oh goodness me! Well, that gearing is very weird. That gearing is not helpful at all. Oh, there's a massive gap. There's a chasm between gear three and gear four there. So I have to work that out. So we do have four laps here. A bit more time to work things out. So third gear, no contact there. Don't run off the track. There's a nice bit of pickup now. It just picks up nicely, I have to say. It might be the low RPM turbo. It just picks up so nicely. If you've ever driven a car, like your road car, when the turbo is not working and then you get it fixed and the turbo works again, you're just like, whoa, that pickup is so nice. That's what I'm experiencing now. See the turbo pressure thing indicator there. And we're just going to have a few of these. So lap two, and we're already up into P4. We'll have this guy here. So basically, we're just going to use P3. This would be so much fun if you see my sequential shifter, the Moza sequential shifter. This would be so much fun with the sequential shifter. I'm telling you, bang down a gear. Oh, I'm running out of road there. Careful, man. I know it's an off-road car, but what are we doing? Let's just get into P1 and just go into the sunset. <laughs> That's what I want to do, because I want to see how many credits we're going to be left with. Oh, my goodness. been battered out there. So hopefully with two laps to go, we're going to be in the lead. We know he's going to brake here because the AI tends to hit the brake pedal about now. We don't need to. There we go. P1. Surely it's just going to be a matter of course to get this one done. Careful. Such a terrible track, this. You can't call a circuit Streets of. You could do Streets of New York. You could do Streets of London. You could do Streets of Tokyo because there's actually streets. You can't do Streets of Willow Springs. There are not any streets here. It's just not right in my, in my book. I'm never going to be invited to Willow Springs now. Well, don't go in the pits by mistake, mate. Right, last lap. Last lap. Nice, nice, nice. I think I could definitely do something to, to improve the gearing of this car.
Because it just blows through third. So we're staying third here. In fact, to be honest, well, you just you hit limiter in third, but I'll be nowhere in fourth, so. Yeah, a shifter and a handbrake for this car would be awesome. Right, everyone, that is going to be a P1. So a P1, a P1, and a, and a P3. That should mean we've completed the cup, and that should give us some bonus credits as well and then and so i feel like we've sort of completed that we've had our journey with the Jimny, which has been a lot of fun you can see it here where is it look look at that thing look how good it is right so we're going to see how many credits we have and what happens when we do the menu book and then what car we want to do next with some more credits let's go back to the cafe yes indeed here's luca he's got a present for us it's a roulette ticket. Welcome back to 2024 gaming. Okay, so we so we did that and we've won the roulette ticket. Let's open up the roulette ticket and maybe we'll get a car or loads of cash. So week's one, what was it? What's the date today? It's 27th February today. 314. Yes, it is. That's our one there. Here we go. Can we get that that Maserati? The M220. The M. Hit this game. Right, okay, so let's see. So credits, we've got 85,000 credits. So if you watched it this far, I want you to let me know in the comments what car you want me to buy for 85,000 credits for the next video in this series. And obviously make sure you're subscribed. So you can see some examples here in the used car dealership. We could get, could we get Sylvia 180. See, all of these, we already own a lot of these anyway. Maybe there's something we don't own. But let me know in the comments anyway. I really hope you enjoyed this video because old school Gran Turismo, and I will see you next time. More videos here, by the way, when I've done similar things that you might enjoy. So go check them out. See you next time.